All right, so last time we learned about sets and we learned about set operations like union, intersection, and complement. And so now we're going to look at some visual representations. Now we're going to be shading the Venn diagrams and it's not that shading is important by itself, but it does help us understand and visually how the sets relate. So let's start with A intersect B. We looked at that one last time. That would be a good review. So first I need to label my circles, right? So which circle is going to be A, which circle is going to be B. And then remember intersection is where they overlap. So I'm looking at the two sets, the two circles, and where do they overlap, right? And so that's a visual representation of A intersect B, where the two sets join, like what they have in common. All right, then A union B. Remember A union B, you combine the sets together. And so it's like you make one big set with the two sets together. So here's A, here's B. Right, so then I'm going to shade them both, right, because both A and B are in the set. You put it together. You're joining them. All right, so here I go. I first I color A. Then I also color B. And that is our visual representation of A union B. So those were simpler examples that we actually saw last time. Now we're going to look at shading where we have things that are a little more complicated. We could have sets, unions, intersections, and we could also combine it with complements. So if we look at A union B complement, unions are my favorite. Like I don't even really have to think too much. I just have to think about the two sets. Where's A? Color A. And where's B complement? So I'm going to color B complement. So really, here I just have to, oops. I really just have to color each set, right? And I'm going to use one color. All right, so let me pick a color here. How about we'll do blue? All right, and I do blue. And so I'm going to color A first. All right, color A, color all of A, yep. And now I'm going to cover color all of B complement. Remember, B complement is outside of B. So I'm going to go around, just kind of trace around the circle and go outside of B. All right, so I'm going to trace around. I'm going to go, oops, I know. I have to make sure that I actually go around B. We have a I was tempted there to go around A. Trace around B and go outwards. All right, and you see all that blue stuff right there? That is the visual representation of A union B complement. All right, well, what about A intersect B complement? You may be asking yourself. Now, with A intersect B complement, so like whenever you have an intersection, it's a little bit more work because you're really looking for what they have in common, and sometimes that's hard to visualize in your head. So what I recommend is that you color each set, but you're going to use two colors. So you're going to color each set using uh, a separate color for each. All right. And and then you're going to look for the overlap. So this first part is really our work. We're not going to have the final answer here. So look for the overlap. Okay. So color each set. Look for the overlap. All right, so for set A, let me see. What color would I like for set A? I'm going to do yellow for set A. So I'm going to color set A. That's in the circle, A. A, A, A. All right. For set B, I'm going to pick a different color. Maybe I'll use green. All right. And sorry, it's not B, it's B complement. So for B complement, I am going to go around the circle. I'm going to go around the circle. Make sure trace around the circle and go outwards. So I'm tracing around the circle, go outwards, trace around the circle, and I go outwards. 
All right, now you step back, you look at this beautiful artwork here, and you step back and you go, okay, where do I see overlap in the colors? So you see how this portion in here has two colors, right? That portion in there has two colors. That is your visual representation of a intersect B complement. But on paper, right, it's a little um, hard to see because you have the two colors there. So since this is just the work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a new Venn, Venn diagram with the final answer.